This is watercolor jellyfish, and these are your supplies. You'll need a pencil. You'll need a Sharpie. Now this is the um, ultra fine point. So these ones are a little different than our regular Sharpies. Need one of those. A tray of watercolors. This is a uh, eight different colors variety. Um, you'll need a piece of paper. This is cardstock. If you want to use watercolor paper, you can use that too. This is good for this particular project. You'll need a little bucket for water. These are recycled little soup cups. You will need a paintbrush. This is a number eight paintbrush. And a old toothbrush. All right. So we're going to start with the head of our jellyfish. So if I find like the middle of my paper, I'm put a little tiny dot. I may erase that later. And then I'm going to move up and I'm going to draw an arch here. And it kind of goes off to the left. All right? So it's kind of loop around like this. Like that. Okay, then I'm going to find the center of that, and I'm just going to draw a little line that kind of follows this sort of the tail or the tentacles of this jellyfish. This is a very um, artsy jellyfish, so you can kind of come around like this. All right, so that's like all I want with my pencil. The rest of this is going to be done with our Sharpie, and we're just going to be freelancing, making up some designs as you go along. So I'm going to uncap my Sharpie and put that on the end so I don't lose it. And this is where you can kind of go um, crazy with the designs. I'm just going to start at the top. And so I'm just going to draw with my Sharpie this kind of wobbly line that kind of goes around. And then I'll do another one on this side. And that's the top of the head of our jellyfish. And this bottom part, I'm just going to do a bunch of design little curls that kind of go around like this. And I'm going to do it all the way around the bottom. Some are big and smaller, kind of going in different directions. This is um, very stylized, artsy kind of jellyfish. So we're just doing a bunch of these little curly cues. I'm not thinking too much about what it is I'm doing. This is kind of a free flow. So I just want to kind of put that in. That's going to be the bottom of the jellyfish. So there's different sizes, like a bunch of number sixes just kind of curl around. All right, so let's go up into the head of the jellyfish. And again, a lot of crazy designs. You can just go kind of wild with these designs. Now, keeping in mind that our jellyfish is a round dome and lines don't come straight down, we want to keep all of our lines fluid and very like curves, lots of curves. So I'm just going to draw something that kind of looks like that. And then I'll draw maybe another one in the middle. And I'm not following any particular order. I'm just kind of making things up as I go along. All right, so I'm just going to go over here. I would draw a little wiggly line that kind of comes down. Maybe I'll put another one of those over here. And maybe I'll come down here. There's the big curl. And then maybe this one kind of goes around the other way. And then follows this one, goes around that way. And then I put a little one here at the end. It looks like uh, my neighbor is doing their lawn. So hopefully that sound is not too annoying. All right, so I'm just going to keep going with these squiggly lines. This one I may follow over it like that. Do 
maybe on this side I'll do some that kind of go like this. And I, like I said, I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. Uh, maybe there's like this little, maybe like a snaky one that kind of comes down. And then maybe I'll put a bunch of little dots in there. And maybe over here, I'm going to put like a little black dot and do like almost like some little spider legs that kind of come up and around like flowers almost all keeping that same sort of curly Q design up here and maybe I'll draw a bunch of little circles maybe put some dots in those Uh, maybe over here there's a bigger circle with some designs inside, maybe. Some little dots. Again, like I said, just sort of making it up as I go along. Put some little circles, little dots. Maybe from the bottom up here there's some little squiggles that kind of go up like this. Take your time and just sort of let it happen. Don't think about it too much. And again, I'm just using straight with the Sharpie. I didn't do any pencil lines on this part. I just sort of want things to kind of happen. Maybe I'll do some little teardrops here. Maybe at the top, there's like these little sort of wavy hairs. Cover those in a little bit with the Sharpie. And then there's another one that kind of comes off this way. Maybe there's a little curl. Maybe I'll do some little dots that come up along this way. Maybe this one's got some little branches coming off this way. All right, so we can leave that for now. We can come back and add some things in there if we want to. All right, so let's go down to the sort of the main body of of his little tentacles that come down. Again, we're gonna keep those same sort of flowing lines. So I'm gonna use that pencil line that we drew. This just gave us a direction of where all this is gonna go. And I'm just gonna wobble it along. And I'm gonna give it a little curl on the end. And maybe I'll do another one over here, kind of leaf, leafy shape. And maybe we'll do one that kind of comes around this way. And then maybe inside, I'll just add some lines here. All right. And again, I'm just sort of making this up as I go along. So if you've ever seen like the the jellyfish at the aquarium, there's the ones they have, they're like almost really kind of feathery. Maybe I'll draw some little loops inside here. All right, so you want to follow the same direction, this curved direction, um, using a bunch of different designs, uh, curves and squiggles, adding, you know, uh, just get creative, adding little loops, um, little dark circles and dots. Um, again, just, you know, adding... Um, different textures and different designs 
um, get creative um, and just you know keep in mind keeping them all going in the same sort of flow the same sort of direction um, they're kind of curving down um, so you want to keep them all going in the same direction and mix up the uh, the style and you know the different um, sort of um, textures um, just to kind of break up the design um, again you know get creative um, use the um, the reference material um, as an inspiration uh, you don't necessarily need to copy it exactly uh, part of the fun of this is that um, you can get creative and kind of make up your own designs there's no uh, right or wrong way to do this one And just keep adding um, different design elements until you feel you've got enough um, of variety and uh, you like uh, you like your designs. Um, varying your line thickness, some some areas are thicker um, and darker, uh, helps to kind of break it up a little bit. All right, let's put one more kind of long one in here. Let's go meteor here. And I'll go back. And maybe I'll put some dots in that one. Okay, let's see. Let's put some kind of over here. Maybe there's one that comes out of here. It kind of goes around. Maybe yeah, there's a little branch here, and maybe there's some dots around. We have a lot of these repeating dots. It's sort of like a little theme. And it kind of ties all of these together, even though they're all kind of different and a little crazy. They all kind of tie together with, you know, maybe using those dots as sort of the, the glue that kind of keeps all of this together. And put some little circles here. All right. When you think you have enough, I'm going to put one more here. It goes like this. I'm going to put some dots on the end of this one. All right. So that's that's not too bad. With our let's put I'm going to put one more here. All right. You can cap up your Sharpie. We'll put that to one side. When you're ready to paint, you can grab your brush and your little tub of water. And we're going to do, let's do some blue first. So I'm going to get my brush wet. I'm going to go in the blue and kind of swirl around. And I'm going to put it in this little lid the palette. And a little more water. I want to kind of thin it out. I don't want it too dark. So I'm going to throw a little bit of water in there. All right. And then I'm just going to kind of blot it around like this. I don't want to fill the whole thing in. I kind of like the light and the dark of the blue. Get a little more paint. And we'll go down here. And then we kind of paint in the direction of these little tentacle designs. And I'm just using just like the tip of my brush, just touching in. I'm not too concerned about getting it exactly in the lines because it's sort of a stylized version of our um, jellyfish. A little more blue. Little blobs of color here and there. All right, I'm gonna get a little purple. I'm gonna mix that up there. So I'm not worried about cleaning my brush in between. All right, so I'm gonna go a little purple. And I'm just gonna kind of blot that around. It's really thinned out with the water, so it's not too dark. We want to make this kind of transparent. You don't want to use really thick color. 
So I'm just going to go in, kind of blob these colors around here. Again, just using the tip of my brush, kind of following those, those um, Sharpie lines. Really loose, really super loose. Just kind of blot the color around. Okay, a little bit of water. So I'm going to get a little red. I'm going to make a little puddle of red. A little bit of water, a little puddle. And then maybe just throw a little bit of orange in there. There we go. All right, so I think maybe I'll put just around the base of our jellyfish, just like the bottom of his head there, put a little bit of that red. And then maybe kind of bring a little bit of it down in here. Not too much. That one's off. Let's see. You know what? Let's grab a little yellow. So I'll make another little puddle of it here. Oops, that's the orange. All right, so a little yellow. So don't worry if your water gets all dark. It's not going to matter. All right, so we got a little yellow. We'll put a couple little blobs of yellow up here. And I'm, I don't care that they're mixing in. With the other colors, and maybe we'll put just a little bit of the yellow down here. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I take a little extra water, and I'm going to mix that blue and purple together. So I got that all kind of mixed up. So I take my brush, pretty much done with my brush. So that toothbrush, we got again, don't use a, the one that you use to brush your teeth every morning. This is like a trashy one. All right. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to swirl it around in my paint. So I get enough on the brush. And I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to use my finger like this. I'm going to stroke this way with my finger and I'm going to point the brush towards my artwork. All right. And I'm going to spatter. Just sort of sparingly here and there. I'm going to put a little bit down here. And there you go. That's it. You squirt that all anywhere you want on your picture. So I'm going to take that and just put it in there. And take my finger and wipe that off. I'm going to take my Sharpie. And I'm going to sign my name down at the bottom. because that's the year. All right, there you go. Our watercolor jellyfish.